Hello everyone, today we'll try to explain the difference between ne and ni. It's not unusual for even intermediate learners of Slovene to make the mistake of mixing them up. So basically, both ni and ne are used to negate verbs. And both can of course be translated with the English words no and not. So you can see how quickly the two can be confused, even though they are in fact very different. So how exactly are they different? Well, here's the essential difference between them. Ni is a verb. It is a form of the verb to be, which in Slovene is biti. Ne is not a verb. There is nothing more to ne. Ne is simply the English no or not. Basically, ni is ne plus biti, or to be. In other words, ni is a negated form of the Slovene verb to be. Now let's show which form of to be exactly. Here's where ni fits into the whole picture. The verb to be or biti in Slovene. So we have the singular, the dual, and the plural. So let's see if we can find ni. It's in one place only. There we go. Ni is the third person singular of the verb to be or biti. In other words, ni means is not, as in he or she is not. On ni, he is not. Ona ni, she is not. So if ni means is not and ne simply means no, not, why do people tend to confuse them? I mean, the difference between isn't and no is pretty big, right? Well, that's because besides meaning to be or to exist, biti can also be a helping verb. That means it has a strictly grammatical function. A helping verb basically means it doesn't really have any meaning. It's just used to form something else, another grammatical structure. Now, as it happens, biti in the present tense, acting as a helping verb, is used to form the past tense in Slovene. We form the past tense in Slovene by using the present tense together with a word we call the L participle. For example, on ne dela means he isn't working, but on ni delo means he wasn't working. So let's compare ni to ne in terms of different grammatical structures. Okay, so ne versus ni in terms of the present tense, the past tense, the future tense, and the conditional. In the present tense, we always use ne to negate verbs. The only three exceptions are biti, to be, imeti, to have, and choteti, to want. See the relevant video on to be, to have, and to want on this same channel. For example, on ne razume, he doesn't understand. We use ni in the present tense only for he, she, so in the meaning of he, she is not. For example, on ni uspešan, he isn't successful. In the past tense, we never use ne to negate, uh, to negate verbs. How come? Well, become, well, because we form the past tense with the present tense of the verb to be, and we never negate to be in the present with ne, since it's an exception. For example, jas nisam razumeo, I didn't understand. We use ni in the past tense only when saying he, she wasn't, or he, she didn't. For example, on ni bil uspešan, he wasn't successful, or on ni show nazai, he didn't go back. Now, moving on to the future tense, we always use ne to negate the future tense, because the future tense of the verb to be, bom, bosh, bo, and so on, is negated quite regularly, just like 99% of all other verbs, and that is with ne. For example, on ne bo show na zabavo, he won't go to the party. And we never use ni um, we never use ni in the future tense. With the conditional, so everything that has to do with would, could, or the Slovene word be, we again always use ne to negate it. For example, on ne bi kupil hiše, če ne bi, he wouldn't have bought the house if he hadn't. And we never use ni to negate conditionals. So if we now highlight the relevant parts on screen, we will see when ni is used. Ni is only used when we say he or she isn't, 
that's the present tense. But like we said, because the present tense of the verb to be functions as a helping verb in forming the past tense, we also use ni when we say he, she wasn't or he, she didn't. So let's simplify matters as much as we can. When, when is ni used and what does ni mean? Ni can mean he, she isn't. It can also mean he, she wasn't. That is when the negated form of bt is used as a helping verb to form the past tense. And of course, he, she didn't. It's also worth mentioning that we use ni in those cases where we'd have the word it in English. For example, it wasn't cold. But again, it's the third person singular. Anyway, I feel as if I'm missing something here. So please let me know in the comments if there are things that just don't make sense with ne versus ni in Slovene and I'll see if I haven't looked anything. I think there's definitely more to this since, for example, ni could be part of a sentence that would translate as couldn't or wouldn't. But hopefully today's lesson give, gave you some idea as to the basic difference between ni and ne. So good luck, study hard and aim for the stars.